Taylor's defeat particularly hard to take given what happened? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one to take today. Um, obviously, we went 1-0 um, and the spirits were high, but obviously, the penalty, as everyone's seen it, I, I ain't really seen it, but I don't really want to talk about it. I can't, I can't say anything. It, um, yeah, it's a tough one to take. It really is. Is there anger in the dressing room over that penalty decision? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of anger between the boys, but we can't dwell on it. We can't, we can't just so keep our heads down. We've just got to get on with it. Nothing can happen now, so uh, we can't change that. Obviously, it's a decision that needs to be looked at, obviously, but we can't do nothing about it. We've just got to get on with it now. On the balance of play, do you think the results are a bit harsh? Yeah, obviously, we had two two good results last week obviously and it started to look up from there we can build some momentum um, and obviously today we uh, we tried to continue that obviously it didn't go our way um, but nothing nothing to worry about like we, we will pick ourselves back up and go again we've got another game Tuesday so we just got to keep keep um, continuing and pushing ourselves and uh, get back to where we uh, where we left off last last week Your second goal for Cheltenham first of the season talk us through it yeah, yeah, it's obviously always great to score. Um, I've got my account up and running now. Uh, obviously got an assist last week and a goal this week. Uh, it's, it's a great feeling, obviously, scoring. Um, so it's obviously given me a lot of confidence now and hopefully I can continue that to help the team and push the team forwards. Do you set yourself a goal target for the season? Um, not, not, like, not like that, but obviously, as, as I'm playing attacking, I want to I score goals. That's what I want to do. I want influ to influence the game at the top end of the pitch. Uh, get as many goals and assists as possible, really, and that's how I'm going to get noticed. So um, today's today's just the start of it, and now hopefully I can push on now and uh, get some more goals and assists into my game now. You obviously were here last season until you picked up the injury. Is it a fairly straightforward decision to come back again? Yeah, obviously my time here last year was good, but short, obviously because of like you said the injury, uh, and I enjoyed my time here last year. So um, and obviously before I came here, I spoke to the manager. And that was really keen on me coming back, um, which is obviously a good thing when you want to come on loan, you want to come here and play. And uh, they're, they're trusting me, which is good. And um, yeah, it, it was a no brainer really after I spoke to the gaffer here. Uh, and I, I'm living my time here as well, again this season at the moment so far. Different gaffer, of course, now with Wade Elliott rather than Michael Duff. What's the difference between the two? Listen, they're both, they're both good good managers. I've, I've worked with them both. I've obviously worked with um, Wadey last year as well um, while I was at Cheltenham. So uh, I have a good connection with him and uh, he's a good manager. So I just want to keep listening to him, taking on advice that he's given me and um, push on now, really. And you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, of course I am, yeah. And, and how uh, straightforward has it been coming back to a club that you already know? Yeah, obviously that's another factor why I came back. I already, I already knew how they play, what they want me to, what they expect of me. So obviously, as a player going on loan, it's it's straightforward. Really, I can come straight straight into it, and I, I know what I'm doing, which is always helpful. And, and that's what I've done. I've, I've picked up where I left, left last season uh, before I got injured. So um, I'm happy about that. Just got to keep going now, continuing. Taylor, thanks so much indeed. Thank you very much.